Michelle, I have got an introductory question for you based on No Longer Normal. That's the title. Do you think we can go back to normal? I think that that is up to the sovereign will Amen. of God, if that's what he wants. And I think if there's anything that's repetitive throughout the Bible, it's that for all people, all time, everywhere, the answer is the same. And it is returning to the Lord. Amen. It's repenting, it's confessing as individuals and as nations. And I think if we see as a nation that we are repenting and confessing and turning to God as a nation, I think that he pulls back his hand of judgment. But we, we can't go fast enough into judgment yeah. right now. We, we just can't That's wait right. to get there. So the Lord is just. He knows the, the righteous and the unrighteous, the, wheats and the wheat and the tare, and none of us are righteous, not one. It is the righteousness of Jesus Christ by which we're saved. But as a nation, when God speaks to nations, nations have to turn back to him. And I think that should be part of our prayer, yes. that our nation would turn back to him. And I think the jury's out. Okay. Well, one thing's for sure, we can turn back to the Lord individually, right? Yes. I mean, this is really important. I mean, you think about the dispensation in which we live is to go and preach the gospel to every creature. And obviously, God works among the nations uh, throughout time and history. And I, I, Michelle, I think you're absolutely right. In the providence of God, he shows kindness to nations. But all nations have a timeline. And, you know, Jan and I often talk about the battle of Gog and Magog. We know there's going to be a tipping point when Israel's going to be alone. And yes. guess what? Russia, uh, Turkey, Iran, and some of their friends are all going to converge on Israel, and they're going to stand alone. And, you know, as you look at what you just shared, in fact, I'm overwhelmed. I'm almost speechless of how you connected all of those dots. Um, you know, people say, Jan and I sometimes talk about conspiracy theories. When you see all of the facts that she just laid out before you, that's, that's not speculation. These are all facts, and you have to make uh, you know, cognitive decisions based upon those facts. And, and, the, and, the, and the reality is, at some point, America is not going to support Israel. Yeah. And it says, Israel will stand alone. Those nations, the battle of Gog and Magog, will come against Israel, which I just mentioned. And God will deliver them, and they will know, Israel will know, the nations will know that there's a God in heaven. And I would suggest to you, we are on the cusp of that even even right now but by the grace of god we may dodge a bullet we'll come back to that in yeah. just a moment but um it sure seems like we're right there